Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about important protected areas in news. Okay, so first we'll do the syllabus mapping, then we'll go through which protected areas we are going to discuss. You all know that protected areas includes national park, biosphere reserve, and tiger reserve and wildlife sanctuary. All these together known as protected areas, which protect both animal as well as plants. First, we'll see the syllabus mapping. It is useful in your prelims point of view because nowadays the emphasis on environment is increasing because it is a common exam for both IFOS and the CSC. Now, let's see what protected areas we are going to discuss in this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Nagarjun Sagar Sri Shalam Tiger Reserve, Great Barrier Reef, Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, Kaval Tiger Reserve, and Madai Tiger Wildlife Sanctuary. Madai Wildlife Sanctuary. We are going to discuss about all these five in this particular video. Okay? It is better if we revisit if you revisit this again in map map point of view. Okay? So because map pointing is very important. Now let us see first Nagarjun Sagar Tiger Reserve. It is located across the border of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Now let's see why it is in news. Why it is in news? NTCA, National Tiger Conservation Authority. If you remember, tell me students, what is the nature of NTCA? NTCA is a statutory body or executive body? Tell me. NTCA, it was saying that because of the cattle grazing as, as well as because of the illegal fishing, the tigers, okay, the tigers population in this Nagarjun Saga Sri Shalom Tiger Reserve, it is getting affected. Because as the people movement is high, it is also leading the way to poachers and it is also affecting the tiger population in the Nagarjun Sagar uh, Sri Shailam Tiger Reserve. It is according to the NTCA. Now, so where is this location? Location, it is present in the Nallamala Hills. It is an offshoot of the Eastern Ghats. You know the students. Andhra Pradesh towards the, you know, like uh, Tamil Nadu, you have Eastern Ghats. Of course, on the counterpart, we have a Western Ghats. Okay, so this Nallamala Hills is an offshoot of the Eastern Ghats, and in this Nallamala area, this Nagarjun Saga Sri Shalom Tiger Reserve is there. It got the status of the Tiger Reserve in 1983. Next, it is the largest Tiger Reserve in India in terms of the area, and it is having two major dams, major project reservoir, reservoir projects. They are Nagarjun Sagar as well as the Sri Shalom. First, Sri Shalom will come then Nagarjun Sagar project will come. Both are based on the river Krishna. And the wildlife sanctuaries present in this tiger reserve, they are Rajiv Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary and Gundla Brahmeshwaram Wildlife Sanctuary. As I mentioned earlier, the river Krishna passed through this tiger reserve, river Krishna. Of course, before entering into the Telangana, river Krishna will come through Karnataka, where the major project Almati project was also on the Krishna river. Topography, it consists of plateaus because it, it is present in the Dakkan plateau. Vegetation, it consists of dry deciduous forest. You know that deciduous forest is the highest, I mean largest in coverage in India. Fauna, majorly tiger, leopard and some other animals. It also contains some prey base also. Okay. So this is about some brief idea regarding the Nagarjun Sagar Sri Shalom Tiger Reserve. Now let's move on the international level that is Australia. You know the students, Australia is very popular for the Great Barrier Reef. Great Barrier Reef present in the eastern direction of the Australia. This is the first basic information you have to know and this is present in the Coral Sea. On the northeast of Australia, you have Papua New Guinea and there are some other sea such as north of Australia, Arafura Sea and northwest of Australia. Timor Sea and the Bass Strait. Bass Strait divides Australia and the Tasmania. You might have known that if you follow cricket, Ricky Ponting was from Tasmania. Here you have Tasmania Sea. This is some basic understanding regarding the Australian geography. Now let's see why the Great Barrier Reef in news. It is in news in relation to UNESCO. Previously UNESCO shortlisted the Great Barrier Reef regarding it's you know like uh, damaging biodiversity and they threatened that they are going to remove it from the 
and now this great barrier reef which is in danger so previously the the australian other government thought that they are going to put under the category of this place in danger okay in terms of environment but now they are not doing that they given some kind of warning that they have to protect it and they given serious threat warning why this warning was served to the australian authorities regarding the great barrier reef because the great barrier reef is experiencing certain environmental threats where this great barrier reef is located it is present in the pacific ocean pacific ocean of the north eastern coast of queensland australia and it is present in the coral sea it is one of the longest and largest coral reef system in the world okay and it is the unesco world heritage sites since 1981 tell me students how many unesco world heritage sites are present in india and what was the last one to be recognized as a unesco world heritage sites regarding the biodiversity coral reefs are the tropical forest of ocean you know that because this gives shelter to plant, uh, different varieties of the plants and animals and the coral reefs as i mentioned earlier it is a symbiotic relationship between the algae and zooxanthellae all the coral polyps together they secrete a, a skeleton like structure calcium carbonate that gives to the hard skeleton like structure and it is nothing but coral reef zooxanthellae and algae and this algae are the photosynthesis and they are autotrophs in nature they do the photosynthesis and because of the presence of algae the zooxanthellae get different vibrant colors okay now during if there is a global warming what will happen pollution and global warming they cause this algae to push out of this coral reef, corals so this zooxanthellae without algae they are colorless that is known as coral bleaching if the coral bleaching will continue then we will we can observe that death of corals now you have to understand what are the ideal condition are suitable condition for coral reefs in terms of sunlight coral reefs require a good amount of the sunlight there is a reason coral reefs can present only in the shallow water not in deep water clean water because the only clean water can allow sunlight through it that means sir water without any sediments or without any pollution then warm temperature in between 20 to 32 degrees centigrade that is the reason you can't see coral reef above the temperate zone or near the freezing zone you don't find generally tropical or subtropical region these coral reefs are present next clean water we discussed already and coral don't live in fresh water coral always require salt water that is the reason even coral don't find uh, in an area where river is mixing with the ocean that is estuaries here also coral reefs are not present coral bleaching already i explained next we are going to discuss about the satyamangalam tiger reserve let's see why we are discussing the satyamangalam tiger reserve you know the satyamangalam tiger reserve it is present in tamil nadu nilgiri biosphere reserve and in tamil nadu it is present in erod district why we are discussing about the satyamangalam tiger reserve a male tiger unfortunately it found dead and it was been trapped actually this trap was intended for deer but the tiger caught into that trap where this satyamangalam tiger reserve is located let's see it is located in the junction of the eastern and western ghats in nilgiri biosphere you know the shrins biosphere in india we have 18 biosphere reserve 18 biosphere reserve okay so what are the nearby tiger reserves or national parks are present because it is also very important in examination point of view as well as you should know as a environmental enthusiast the nearby tiger reserve or national parks are mudumalai tiger reserve and bandipu tiger reserve and brt reserve and wildlife sanctuary karnataka so it's a contiguous zone it is having the border with the karnataka as well as the tamil nadu okay this uh, mudumalai tiger reserve you know where you might have know that this elephant wish for us it was been shooted in this mudumalai tiger reserve streams then what kind of vegetation trees we will find there tropical thorny forest mixed deciduous forest and semi evergreen not the full evergreen semi evergreen forest climate subtropical and dry obviously and rivers river bhavani moyer and noyal river these are popular rivers which flow along this tribal communities irula and kurumba tribes 
there are certain names and is very popular for the sandal woods you know that veerappan was uh, infamously popular for the sandalwood smuggling fauna okay elephant tiger sloth bear and nilgiri longworm these are some of the flagship species present in this particular area satyamangalam tiger reserve now we are going to dis discuss about two tiger reserves in telangana kawa tiger reserve and amrabad tiger reserve why we are discussing about these now because the reduced number of tigers are observed unfortunately so that is the reason we are discussing about this two tiger reserve first one is we'll discuss about the amrabad tiger reserve then we'll discuss about the kawal tiger reserve as i mentioned earlier the number of tigers are decreased from 26 to 21 in both this tiger reserve which one this kawal tiger reserve and next we'll discuss about the amrabad don't worry i will show the slides to you kawal tiger reserve it is present in the present in the okay so first we'll discuss about the amrabad then we'll go back to the kawal amrabad tiger reserve okay. it is present present in the northeastern telangana in adilabad kawal kawal tiger reserve in amrabad tiger reserve it is present in the south of the telangana this kawal tiger reserve godavari river godavari flows through kawal tiger reserve and it is present in the in the joining between the dakkan peninsula and central highlands is a confluence where these two landforms are confluent confluencing there this present so rivers such as godavari and kadam these are the two rivers flows through it and it is having connectivity to the nearby tiger reserves such as thadoba and deri tiger reserve of maharashtra generally we can see the tigers coming from this thadoba towards this kawal and there is a reason even government declared that as a tiger corridor also tiger corridor is a place where we will see the frequent movement of the tigers indravati tiger reserve of chatisgarh is also near to this tiger reserve vegetation tropical dry deciduous forest very common in this part of india and fauna so this is a normal fauna there is no specific animal species here key facts about the amrava tiger reserve now amrabad is a south telangana initially it is as a wildlife sanctuary then it declared as a tiger reserve in 2015 after telangana and andhra pradesh was bifurcated then it is present in the nallam nallamala forest already mentioned nallamala forest is an extension of eastern ghats krishna river flows through it important fauna such as tiger leopard wild dog indian wolf indian fox these are some of the animals present in this tiger reserve and the last one we are going to discuss in this video is mahadev wildlife sanctuary satari and bhagwan mahavir wildlife sanctuary mallem these are some of the wildlife sanctuary present in goa in this video we are going to discuss about mahadev wildlife sanctuary why because the goa bench of bombay high court it ordered the goa government to declare this as a tiger reserve okay so the goa bench of bombay high court why we are calling goa bench because goa don't have any separate high court goa comes under the jurisdiction of bombay high court you know that there can be a possibility of common high court for two or more states goa high court ordered the goa government sorry this bombay high court ordered the goa government to notify this made wildlife sanctuary and its surrounding as a tiger reserve tell me students how many tiger reserves we have in india how many tiger reserves this made wildlife sanctuary present in northern part of goa some prominent waterfalls are vajrasakla waterfalls and the vidri falls it is very popular for the nesting grounds for critically endangered long billed vultures very very important critically endangered long billed vultures okay and flora most moist deciduous not the dry deciduous moist moist deciduous forest because it is present toward the western side of india and is well known for sacred groves you know what the sacred grove means very ancient trees okay and the fauna and the most important striking thing here is it is very interesting place for the herpetologist this herpetologist they do study and research on snakes here four major variety of snakes also can be found indian crete russell's viper saskeled viper and spectacled cobra these four different kinds of snakes also can be found here 
and in this video very frequently we discussed about ntca ntca stands for national tiger conservation authority it is a statutory body works under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and it formed according to the wildlife protection act 1972 and it coordinates regarding the tigers protection and it promotes the coordination between the center and state and it is a statutory body which implements rules related to tigers and it coordinates and supervises the maintenance of the tiger reserves also ntca members minister from environment and minister of state from environment as vice chairperson and three members from parliament along with the secretary of the environment of ministry okay or ministry of environment ntca members last video question disqualification on the, on the grounds of defection for a member of parliament not apply in which condition it will not apply it will not apply in the case of party merging into another party okay now let's see today's video questions today's video question tropical wet evergreen type forest of western gods extends to over 600 square kilometers and provide a habitat for three big carnivores we are talking about tropical wet evergreen forest in western gods it providing shelter to tiger leopard and wild dog among some other several species like lantern macaque this place is also origin of three rivers netravati tunga river and badra river the above description defines which of the following national park so which national park fit into this description next which of the following conservation reserves are correctly matched okay here the protected reserve protected places and their states are there which one is rightly matched which of the following national parks are located in andaman nicobar islands okay so these are today's questions as we are reaching to the end of the video first we will revise quickly you know students in this video we discussed about protected areas which are in use okay we discussed about five protected areas and we discussed about the relevant exam exam relevant information related to all these protected areas if you like this kind of theme based videos please leave your comments okay so that we can plan more such kind of theme based videos